Good morning, this is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. A Bible the reading from the day is from Proverbs 7. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and the law of law, my law is the apple of your eye. Bind them onto your fingers, write them on the tablets of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister and call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seducers who flatters with her words. For the wind at the window of my house, I looked to my latest, and I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youth a young man devoured of, devoured of understanding, passing along the street near for a corner, and he took the path to a house, in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And there the woman met him, with the tire of a harlot and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside. At times she was in the open space, Look, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an prudent face she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows, so I come out to meet you, diligently to seek your faith, and I have found you. I have spread my bed with tapestry, colored coverings of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with mirth and aloes and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love till morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and he will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately, he went after her, as to, as, as an ant goes, ox, as an ox goes to the slaughter, or a fool to the collection of the thoughts, till an arrow struck his liver. A bird hastened to make the snare. He did not know it would cost him his life. Now therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray onto her paths, for she has cast down many wounded and among the all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. God bless you. Have a great day.